What is going on everybody and in this crew 2 video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the weekly challenge called derange taxi. Now you will need to complete the agency events with a taxi vehicle. So the agency events are actually the ones that are in the summit currently. The one I'm currently at as well will count toward this. So this one is going to be the Dallas Rush here. This is the one I recommend doing because it is pretty dang easy to do. And with the settings I'll show you at the end of the video at my car as well. This probably should make this pretty simple. So this race really isn't too bad. Leave it on the first difficulty there. And then I will jump into this and pretty much explain what to do. So in this, you guys will have to get 23,000 points, which might sound like a lot in one of these cars, but it actually isn't too bad to be 100% honest. Uh, I would recommend putting the car in automatic, though it might help a little bit. You get points pretty easily here drifting. So what you guys have to do is get to the 23,000 point mark. I'll do it right now live to show you all with this car. So drifting it here. Let's get some air. It really isn't as bad as it sounds, honestly. As long as you have the right build on the car, this actually should be pretty easy. You can also get pretty much all the points right in this area here. Once you guys actually hit the point threshold, you can actually just head on over and finish the race there. I recommend just going right in this area. You have about, you can spend about 30 seconds here or so. I wouldn't really stay any longer than that. Or you may not complete the race if you're trying to actually get the points and all that. Head on over and get to like 21,000 or 20k or so. And you pretty much can just race through the race after that and finish it up. You actually could probably even get like 15,000 or so. And then just finish the event there. Jumping through all these and all that will get you points. And you pretty much break the threshold pretty easily. If you want, you can also get more points just because if you really feel like doing that. But head over to the end there. And that's pretty much it. I'll fast forward to the end of the race to show you that this completed. I also want to point out the fact that you probably could just race through the entire race if you wanted to and still hit that 20,000 point threshold there to get this completed. You really don't have to drift around like I did in the beginning there because so, I still broke 57,000 points, which is crazy. You only need 20k and you pretty much can fly through. So if you really wanted to, you probably could just drive through the whole race normally and you'll probably hit that 20,000 points pretty easily. So as you all will see there, I did get the completion, so now I have two out of three. Quick little tip too, is if you guys are in the right vehicle for one of these challenges, that thing will be green. If I switch over to the Corvette here, you will see that use valid vehicle is now silver, which means you are not in the right vehicle. I figured I would do a full run again and talk about this a little bit more, guys. This is actually pretty easy to do, but I figured I would just drive through the whole race normally like you would without actually doing any drifting or anything like that or anything insane. Just pretty much driving through it like you normally would, showing you that you can still get to 23k with really doing pretty much not much at all, honestly. Nice little drift here on this turn, right into the wall, which is perfect. So I already have 12,000 points and I've barely done anything, so this is actually going to be very easy to do with these taxis. So this uh, weekly challenge should be done fairly quickly, I'd say. Let's fly around this turn there. As you see, I pretty much almost got to 23k around that one turn. Let's keep it going. I'll show the settings as well on my vehicle. That will definitely help a lot with this, mainly because it makes this thing drift very easily. Fly around the turn here. I'm going to fast forward to the end. Actually, I don't need to really show this whole thing. But you guys will see, just by driving a little bit, I already have 22,000 points, and I really haven't done much of anything. So arriving to the end of the race here, I managed to get 60, 000, over 60k this time, and I pretty much ran through the race normally, drifting and all that. So you guys really don't have to go too hard on this. Just pretty much go through the race as you normally would. You'll hit that 20k pretty fast, and then you will then get the challenge as you will see there. Thank you all so much for watching. And here are the settings I'm running on my Ford Crown Victoria. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys. I think these settings might be your best bet when doing the stunt races, mainly because it helps the car drift easier, even though you pretty much can complete the whole race by just driving through it and probably getting the 20,000 points. But having the tire grip down a little bit does help the car drift, which could help you get to the point threshold much faster.